Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for July, um, how time has flown. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, of course vice versa as well guys. Um, you know, as I always say, you know, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, you know, sometimes you can stick around and sometimes there could be just messages for Al that jump out and speak to you. And of course, like I always say, use this as a guide. Sorry about my throat, guys, my tone. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's going on. Got a froggy throat. A hey -ho. Like I said, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just take these in i will clarify these cards off off camera guys because that's just going to take too long okay so let me just take these in and i'll be back So Pisces, let's start your reading. Let me just double check that, make sure all is well. Perfect, perfect. So let's start your reading. Take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as a, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch. Whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, if this isn't your situation, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak, guys. All right, so I'm going to start by saying, Pisces, that something has definitely... I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But something has tested this relationship. I kind of get this sense of just this. This relationship is being tested. It's being tested. Uh, that's how you're definitely kind of maybe internalizing it for some of you as well. So we've got that tower card there. So there's been a shock or something's come crumbling down. Um, but your intuition uh, kind of kicked in. And that could be due to the extent of the type of connection that you have with this person but you didn't want that situation whatever it is what however it happened whatever it happened I feel like it's to do with this queen of swords if i'm honest with you we do have that three of cups which we'll get into in a minute but it seems like you know i, I get the sense of i'll be damned if i let you kind of shake this if i let you come between me and my person i'm gonna hold on to this i'm gonna you know battle any challenges uh, that comes comes with that nine of wands there, but also, you know, defending yourself, defending this relationship, defending just from outsiders, maybe their opinion about certain things, maybe people come into you with certain information about this person, but there is this test, like it, it, it's just like this test in your connection with this person is being tested and you're wanting to kind of fight for this. Um, and I say fight for some of you, that might be a strong, too much of a strong word, but definitely you're not wanting to allow it to rock this situation that you've got going on with this person. So we have the strength card there. Um, this is someone that you've either, either been with for a long time or you're wanting long term with, uh, but uh, because there is either foreseeing a fulfillment in this connection or there is fulfillment that's already been developed. So if this is a long term relationship, and of course, there's fulfillment there and you're just wanting to put work into it. I'm willing to still put work into this. I'm still willing to work on this. Uh, but it takes a great level of strength with that strength card there. The Pisces. Where with your person, you know, I feel like, it would mean, they've got the Ace of Wands. You know, wanting an opportunity to create something new. Wanting an opportunity to start something new feeling like they've also got to be strong. There's an element of strength that they have to have. I feel like it's about them maybe approaching you or speaking to you or thinking about what you're making of this situation because there's something that's really, there was something that was really stressing them out, like worrying, sleepless nights, like really, you know, got their grips into this person's mind. Very stressful period for them and for you too. But I feel like you just have a certain level of strength that this person, that you're displaying, that this person just kind of, just wasn't tapped into really, um, leaving them very confused, very confused, um, trying to process things. But this is quite interesting. They do have that King of Cups. So the King of Cups talks about, out of all the kings, this is very much a loyal, stable, reliable king. And that's in their thinking. 
So that's how they kind of see in this. So I'm not sure what the situation is. I'm not privy to the details of what came out or what happened. But it's definitely related to this Queen of Swords person. Maybe this is someone that they maybe co-parenting with or uh, something like that. Maybe a mother-in-law, father-in-law, whatever the case may be, something, someone. Um, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Your focus is, you know, just showing up as the ace of coins. Your focus is very much on, you know, rebuilding or building, um, maintaining, I would even go so far as to say, this connection. Um, just wanting to bring it out of whatever situation that you find yourself in with this person. You know, because there's still a lot of love here that you do have for them. You love them. Ultimately, you just wanted to move out of this space uh, and not let anything break this connection that you have, break the relationship that you have. Wanting to overcome, wanting to move into a better place with that eight there. Like I said, there's that Queen of Swords, which I feel is a figure, character, person in this person's life who, because they're showing up as the eight, so it's the, the eight talks about walking away from something, walking away from something. Sometimes it's left undone, left unsaid as well. But walking towards that ninth cup, which is, you know, ninth cup talks about emotional happiness. So this person has shown up as walking away from something with the mindset of there is a choice that they're needing to make. I feel like that choice is around maybe communication with this other person, with this queen of swords. I'm not feeling that Queen of Swords energy. It's very controlling. The Queen of Swords is a very controlling, um, frosty, icy type of queen. A bit dominant as well, a bit bossy, sharp, uh, that type of thing. So I feel like that choice is around them maybe communicating, because we do have that Seven of Swords there. Pisces, communicating with this person maybe one more time, maybe having a last conversation that you just don't need to be privy to. So that's why that Swords, that Queen of Swords, that Seven of Swords is... Is kind of showing up so just communication that you don't need to be privy to so it's behind the scenes type of thing um not sure whether they're we do have that too which talks about decision i feel like this person has expressed in that communication that they've made a decision they're moving ahead with you they're very sure you know that's you that's the queen of wands is representing you they're moving ahead with you it's that type of thing you know you can't maybe play that role anymore you can't do that you can't overstep your mark because this type of queen, you know, has the tendency to definitely overstep their mark, cross boundaries, all sorts of things. Very controlling type of person um, the queen is, you know, but also has the benefits as well. I mean, there's the, you know, it has its place. She has her place, let's say that. Um, but yeah, communication behind the scenes that you don't need to be privy to, but it's being had or it's being, uh, being had. It's either, either had already or about to be had. It's one of those things about this person and the decision regarding you and how they show up in their life. Um, we do have the ace, the ace, we do have the eight, which talks about, again, it's just reflecting where, how they're showing up, which is this moving away, walking away from something. And that's the feeling they have. Don't know how it's going to turn out with the moon card there. Uh, but, but doing it anyway, you know, willing to do something new or take a new path and acknowledging that there has been some hurt or some pain here that they've either caused you or that this relationship has just, you know, that they've all also had as well. I feel like this is, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a mutual, like you've been hurt, I've been hurt, we've both been hurt in this situation and I can hear you now, Pisces. Well, why did they engage in this if that's the case? I don't feel like it's, I feel like this person is a bit controlling. This person has a way to, you know, maybe... And they kind of saw it as innocent or not uh, having a huge effect on this connection in some way. Yeah, each to their own though. It's, it's, it can be different for, for 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 a lot of you guys. But yeah, so this 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 Queen of Swords has gotten in the way, or at least attempted to test this relationship in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I love the fact that you didn't allow it. You've got this level of strength, and I know it's hard. I know it could be challenging as well. But there is this strength card that you do have. And there is this level of focus on just not having anything come and disrupt what you've built, what you're about to build, what you have. You know, this person might have just been caught in a weak place as well. 
Yeah. But you move into a place where we've got that two there, which talks about a decision. A decision. We've got the three of cups there. There we go. So there's some form of decision that you make. And I feel like it's regarding the place or position that this person holds. We do have that three of cups. But that decision gives you... I feel like it's coming from a place of, because we've got the world card there, the world card talks about having gone through enough to see more, having gone through enough to gain more knowledge and to gain more experience. And I feel like there's something around, and this is where you move to, guys. We're just touching on that before we move into part two. I feel like there is this awareness that you develop around this situation with this person that allows you to see it in a different way, allows you to uh, process it in a different way there's something which is a benefit actually because we do have that will of fortune card there i'm not sure whether that decision is around you deciding to think different or deciding to do something different but there is definitely a decision that you move into you know from where you are at the moment kind of move into a place where you make a decision about something and it has an effect on how you see this person and this situation so we will continue this in part two of the reading, guys. For those that are interested, link is in the description bar below. So click on that. As it stands, you know, I, I will take I, I will take my hat off to you because I just get this sense that most people would have fumbled or crumbled under these types of experience. And that was their intention, I feel. Or at least they had the idea that that could happen. And I'm just glad that you guys are kind of just moving through this. Not sure where this is going to go. We'll see in a minute. But you know, as it stands, and and it's because of your strength, it's because of your focus, um, yes, yeah. so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings, if that's something that interests you, um, as they say, subscribe, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week.